So that was Dead Tom Blues, a little uh, instrumental I pieced together based on the playing of uh, Lonnie Johnson, Scrapper Blackwell and Bo Carter, and probably a bit of myself. And uh, if you're interested in the tap, please do open the video in the description below. I tapped out the whole thing, the three verses. And we're in drop D tuning, so tune down your sixth string to D and you'll be good to go. Uh, I'm playing this, that term blues means of course the monotonic bass, it's another name for it. And I'm using what I call the country blues bass, open and then muted. So you have a nice division of bass and beats. All right, let's start with the first couple bars. Sorry. So, starting on the third fret, so the third string, second fret, fourth fret, first string, slide up, seventh fret, first string, fifth fret and then one beat, just the bass and bend and go down the same beat and a little vibrato there. So the first two bars again. And bars three and four, more or less the same thing. And we're adding the pinky to the first string and bending in the fourth bar, the sixth fret, second string. Open and then a partial D7. Fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. So bars three and four again. And then we're walking into our G7, bars five and six. So we walked in, bars five. Is how I use in the whole song, by the way, but you have to discover that yourself also a bit by listening. Listening is half the battle. How I use dynamics here, and in the last beat of measure six, we're going back to our D chord. So, one more time, bars five and six. Notice how I use two fingers to play the first and the second string in that sixth bar. So bar seven and eight, we do a little boogie figure. Start with a double bass. And I'm using my pinky, of course, to do that. And notice that uh, the last beat of measure seven, that open D string, I let it ring. You could play that with the index. And then I'm 
sliding into my A chord. So bars 9 and 10, A chord. You could use, of course, the long A chord. But I chose to slide up and go down on the first string to the A7. Accents the walking to the G7. And back to D. So one more time. So in bar 11 and 12 we have the turnaround, starts with the bass and then going down on the 5th string and you keep your pinky on the 3rd fret, 2nd string. And of course it's, it starts with a triplet but you can do whatever there. And then in the 12th bar, after I'm sliding it to the 4th fret of the 6th string and fret an A7, you could do the bar of course too. And notice that the second beat is like that, I mute with my picking thumb there. One more time, bars 11 and 12. last beat is a strum down with the temp or with my two fingers held together. This so. Then we have the second verse. So, pinky and third finger go to the seventh fret of the second and the fourth string. Going down open and then form the D7 chord. 5, 3, 5, 4. And with the thumb st straight down, so I have two strings there. And I'm keeping it short. Da, 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 da. You could use that as a turnaround. the most difficult uh, run in the song. So, third string, hammer on. It's a triplet. Third fret, second string. And then slide to the seventh fret on the second string. And then pinky and third finger play the 7th fret and the 6th fret on the 1st and the 2nd string. And then slide up to the 10th fret and the 7th fret, 1st and 2nd string. And then in the 15th bar, Notice that the second verse doesn't have 12 bars, so in blues it's no a rule that you have to play 12 bars. I said what I wanted to say in those three bars instead of four, the usual four. <laughs> And we're walking into our G chord, but a different G chord now. In a way, this is your bar chord, but since we are in drop D and we want our D, uh, uh, G in the bass, we have to fret the fifth fret 
of the sixth string. Keeping the index on the third fret, second string, fourth fret uh, on the third string, and the pinky goes to the fifth fret. So bars 16 and 17. Is the bass goes like that, and I'm using a temp wrap to get that third fret sixth string. So I'm going down, third fret, back to the fifth fret, sixth string, third fret. One more time, the whole thing. Sorry. our D chord at the end. And we're doing our same thing as before with a little variation in bar 19. One more time, bar 18 and 19. Notice how that fourth string opened rings at the end of bar 18. And then in bar 20 we go to our A7. By the way, this move is uh, very typical of bow Carter. He does that or something similar in his policy blues, which is also in drop D tuning. So, bar 20 and 21. Slide with the pinky to the 5th fret and walk into the G7 chord. A lot of pinches there and this is typical for Scrapper Blackwell. He does this very often when he plays in D. But he doesn't play in drop D. He plays in standard tuning uh, D tuning. Uh, D, in D, in the key of D, that's it. So, first fret, first string, second fret, third string, open, on the second and the fourth string, third fret, back, to that partial uh, G7. So one more time, bar 21. So the be second beat is a triplet. So bars 22 and 23 on page 2, we, get, we went back to D, and with, our pink, with my pinky I slide to the 7th fret, 5th fret, then 2nd string, 5th fret, and so one more time, I'll start with bar 21. into our A7, open, and 1st fret, 2nd fret, slide on the 2nd and 4th string. And then sliding into that uh, <coughs> chord at the uh, 8th and the 10th fret. So that is the third verse. So let's play the first two bars or three bars. So 
we're starting in bar 24 with a triplet. And once more, and the second time also. Double bass to end that uh, bar, so one more time. And notice, muting with the picking fingers. Then going down. That's part 25 and you see I'm using two fingers to do those bends. And I'm resting my index on the other strings so that unwanted string noises. Sometimes your finger clicks behind the third string and that's avoided by muting those strings. So. so we let that ring into the next two beats of bar 26 and then and slide up to the 10th fret again on the second string. Triplet. And adding the pinky to the 10th fret first string. And releasing it so you get that. And again with that mute of the first uh, note of the third beat. what I'm doing here, I'm using my third finger to fret the 8th fret first string and I'm using my second finger also to help with that bend and the index mutes the other strings and I hit it down with my nails of my first and second finger held together. So I'm, I'm hitting those other strings and with my palm I'm, when I go down, you hear me hitting the bass strings so they don't ring at all. I hit all the strings, you could say, but only the first string is ringing. Like that. So that was bar 28. Let that ring for a full beat. Triplet, second beat of bar 28, and we're forming our D7. And with a thumb down for the fourth beat. So one more time, bar 27 and 28. So for the G7, we're sliding into our chord, bar 29. Fretting the third fret of the second string and the first fret of the first string and playing it and releasing the index. And then a quick hammer on. And then the bar 30. Fourth string open, third fret, third string open, first fret, hammer on pull off, third fret, that's one beat. And then a triplet. All right, bars 29 and 30 one more time. And in bar 29, I forgot to, to write the hammer-on sign in the last beat where 
tap says, but it's a hammer on. You'll have to add that. All right, uh, bar 31 and 32. We've seen that before. So, you could play with the long A, of course. Or you can freehand it. Yes. And then sliding into the fourth fret of the third string. So you have a triplet, part 34. Third fret, first string, and slide down to the first fret. Second string, third fret, pull up, second string, first fret, open. And bend the third fret, fourth string. One more time, bar 33 and 34. Sorry. And that's a different turn around there. 10th fret, 10th fret, 1st and 4th string. And we're slowing down. And a D7. 8, 7, 7, 7. So that's it for the Dead Town Blues. Open the video description. I put some links to some other interesting stuff in drop D tuning which I think is one of the best tunings uh, to play blues. You have a low bass string there. And possibilities for different kinds of uh, G chords, the four chords. And All right, have fun with this.